Today we are going to make our first energy that we gonna need for something special. If you want to know how we are going to make our first energy and for which machine we are actually going to use it, just stay tuned. So guys, as you might already expect it, the first energy that we're gonna make is coming out of coal. So that is the whole reason why we made this crushing wheel setup here, because we need a lot of coal. And because I decided we are going to play this series without chickens, is this the best way to get a lot of coal for everything that we are going to need it? So what is going to be on our to-do list for this episode? First, what I want to do is to make this setup here a little bit cleaner, a little bit better, because we I already have stocked items in here and that means we are not producing coal anymore and that is really bad because we need coal already now in these burners and then we're gonna use it for energy too so we actually gonna need a lot of coal so I just want to make a filter system here and we are going to stack up coal already the next thing I want to do is as I managed the first energy production and last but not least thing will be the first machine for what we're going to use the energy if you want to know what machine is it going to be then watch the video till the end and guys if you like what we are doing here please hit the like button also subscribe to the channel and if you have something that we should do in the future write it in the comments down below okay guys actually first what i want to do is i just saw in the cut that this section here is causing some lags like here inside i didn't saw it because for me it's not lagging so i just want to fix this system really fast or maybe we should get this really fast going let's just put this out i'm going to put it right here for now maybe if i just delete this filter yeah and export everything directly here and we're gonna store these items for now here okay we just found out we have to do our linking tool yeah we don't have everything linked so is it working now no because we don't have these items in here the rest should go already in why is it working now maybe this one isn't in here too yeah this one wasn't in here too so now it's already working they should fix this system for now but the problem is these drawers are going to be full really fast so we don't have a lot of room here let's just fix this system now so we don't have lag anymore i'm going to use this clutch for it and then the best tool for wireless redstone signals this redstone link so let's just craft it really fast actually we have everything here we just need brass casings we have brass here we need one for now and then we also need our axe and some wood we don't have wood so let's just make our brass casing here it is and then we have to craft it with redstone like this and here is our redstone link then i also going to need a lever and we are going to make this redstone link somewhere here so we can turn it off when we start with the episodes so it's going to be iron and this is a transmitter and here is going to be a receiver so for now we just need to block this signal that is going in this section here and then also in this but we shouldn't stop the crushing wheel so this is going to be a problem uh, let's do it really fast and we're gonna see what it actually affects okay make some room and do it like this i don't know if this connects without the redstone so let's just make it like this and it has to be a receiver okay so when we turn it on now it should stop working so let's just try it really fast here we are on, on our link so let's take a lever actually i'm going to move this one higher so the lever is here and iron filter turn it off yeah it's working so our washing is done and we have no more lag nice you see it now the only problem is we turned off our crushing wheels so we have to over our crushing wheels not with the same line as we are doing with the washing wheels so that means we need this gearbox away from here and connect it somehow with this i'm just going to use some shafts here take this and come directly here so next we need more gearboxes then take a gearbox here and come out from here 
Just hope that it's spinning in the right direction. And for now, what we can make here is first delete these two. Then we need for sure our gearbox here. So, okay, this is already going in the right way. Now we just need to connect this to and time going just to use a belt. Yeah, everything is spinning in the right way. In the future we are going to make a speed up here, so it's going to be better. But for now it's good. So we stopped our lag here. And when I'm AFK, I'm going to turn this on. Okay guys, I just decided we are going to make another rotational speed controller because I want to finish this quest here, so let's just take everything we need here. We actually don't have any gears, so let's just grab them a lot. And half is going to be the big ones because I'm sure we don't have enough. Yeah, we had to. Let's just put them back and the small ones come here. So you know the process and we see us when it's finished. Okay guys, here is our precision mechanism, so let's just make this rotational speed controller. That means we need another grass casing, so just repeat the process really fast and cut it, take the brass, put it together and here is our item. So next thing I want to do is take some gears so we can connect it without problems. And the first thing is going to be, I'm going to use it right here. Turn it and then a wheel comes inside of here. Now I'm going to use it with a small wheel, so it comes here and then I'm going to use the shafts. So just move everything out here. And the gearbox should be then directly here. Okay, now it's spinning in the wrong direction, so just take our gearbox here. And it's fixed. Then disconnect these two. And connect it right here. And it's working. Clear everything up. Like this, and now as you know we can turn this on, so... Okay, maximum is not working. So go a little bit lower. Try this. Also not, then this. Okay, this is going. So we are on half speed. I think that it's going to be more than enough, maybe if I turn it a little bit down. So we have some energy on spare. I just clean our belt and then we can check how much how much coal we have. Nothing. This is going to be filled up really fast. Maybe right now. Yeah, it's already stacking up, so that system is fixed and we can continue. Uh. Okay guys, we already need to upgrade, so let's just make them really fast. Actually, here are the recipes. First you need a copper one, then you upgrade from it, so we can easily get a diamond here. So let's just do it really fast. I'm going to take some copper and make it then. We see us. A few moments later. Okay guys, welcome back. I just farmed all the things together. We have every resource that we need. So let's just go and craft it together with everything else. So we just need a bunch of chests. I'm actually going to craft all of this because we all times need it. So let's go. Seven copper upgrades then. Seven. Okay, what am I missing here? Ooh, I didn't so. We just need more gold there. Hopefully we have enough. Oh, we just need to smelt some more because it's not enough. Let's just do it really fast and then we can make it. But what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to make as many as I can and directly the diamond upgrade so we can make it here that what is full we can upgrade. Okay full is here so let's just go them and this is beer working here yeah, it's working so put this gold out and you see this chest was already full and i was just smelting down these resources here and it's crazy how fast this goes we're actually going to need so much storage space for these items okay 
We should have enough. So let's just craft it really fast. <laughs> Actually, we need more chests. Didn't saw that coming, but okay. So here are all the gold ones and last diamond. We have all the upgrades, so we can continue and this can run all the time. So guys, we have our power production here, but that is actually just for kinetic power. So everything you can see here, we can power out of it, but we need also air F that is like electricity. How we're going to do it is I'm going to use this sterling dynamo and this is going to produce us all the energy we need. So you can see here, everything is easy so i'm just going to craft it really really fast i'm thinking here to make already four or five so we have it done and don't have to worry about it later so let's just take more iron and craft it together like this then we need five iron gears okay now i need nuggets here are five and then we also need five of this so that should be everything we just need stone so let's just craft it yeah we have five dynamos so the next thing we are going to need are these upgrades these are actually improving this system we can't make the resonant one okay guys we can make the hardened one and the reinforced one so we are going to start with the hardened one first we need invar that is actually mixed together nickel and iron so we should have everything here let's just take it first like we said nickel and do we have more yeah here is more and the next thing we need is iron we are going to take it from here so we can mix it together here but first let's just put out this gold actually we just need some silver that we can mix with gold so we get electrum we're gonna need it later on for the next upgrade so we can get it right now because we have already gold in there so guys i'm just going to mix nickel and this electron then we see us okay guys actually i forget to say we also need this signalum that is just combined in the melter the next also copper silver and redstone that means we just have to use this silver with copper and at the end we okay guys i just saw we can't make this next year because we need destabilized redstone and that is actually made in magma crucibles that we can make next episode so we are going just with the hardened one because for the reinforced one we need this signal and that is this redstone recipe so i just thought that we can melt it in here but no we can't so let's just take everything out and mix raw nickel and iron for the invar and then we can continue okay this is melting so what we need first for the crafting recipe we need this golden gears so let's just take our gold here and we can craft it then directly that means four okay we are missing one so we have to smelt gold too let's just make it then okay we just made it in the furnace so we can make our gold gears in the meantime we also get our nickel so let's try we need glass a few moments later okay guys we have enough glass so let's just craft it here are our five upgrades and we have or energy so where we are going to put it for now we said in the beginning that is going to be our main base so i'm going to dig some room here in the later episodes and then here is going to be the base so i'm thinking here we don't need so much energy for now so i'm just going to place it later like here for now so last thing for this episode that was the secret the whole time and that is going to be a sawmill that we're going to need later on so let's just prepare all the resources and then craft it first we need tin i'm just going to use our finance for this so let's take a one stack and put it right here the next thing we are going to need is some copper we have it actually we're going to have everything so let's just begin the crafting again that means first what we need is this redstone flux conduit so let's make it then we need copper gears craft it with nuggets so that are our two copper gears then we need this 
saw blade. That means one more copper and we should have enough tin. So first the tin gear, here it is. And then take our glass, make a machine frame. We need this saw blade and last thing we need. Okay, we have already stone, yeah, so we can craft it. Here is our sawmill. So we have our sawmill and for what we are going to use it is a secret for the next episode. Maybe you can guess it in the comments down below. I'm not going to tell you what it is. So you are going to watch the next episode. So guys, this is our setup for now. So let's just try how much energy this is producing. So first what we need is this upgrade. So we can see the upgrades here. Just try can put multiple no we can't so the final question how much rf is this producing it's 80 rf per tick so that is really not bad if you are thinking that we have five of this that means we have with this five dynamos already 400 rf per tick and that is going to be enough for a long time so guys that's actually going to be it for this episode and if you are interested in all this stuff you can see behind me how we built it and how it actually works then just click on this video here where i explain everything and have a nice rest of the day bye